this. On May 26th of this year, a mighty warrior went home to his reward. I'm going to follow my notes closely to try to not stray from them. Brother David Farr was a faithful gospel preacher, Bible teacher, school administrator, mentor of men, and encourager of great works. Everyone who knew the late Brother Farr has a unique connection with him. Likewise, as I share a few words in tribute, I do so from my unique perspective. He was my teacher, he was my mentor, he was a close friend, and he loved and he accepted me as he did many others, but he accepted me as his nephew and oftentimes introduced me to others as his nephew. Actually, my late wife, Teresa, was actually his niece, but I was honored to be considered his nephew. When he was here a couple of years ago, he introduced me to folks as his nephew, and it meant the world to me. I cannot mention David without mentioning his helpmate of 65 years. And if I've made any worthwhile contribution to the kingdom, it is largely because of David and Peggy Farr. At his funeral, Jeff Trotter described David Farr as a generational preacher. He was a unique generational talent. In the pulpit, David was a master at unpacking the text. When he finished a sermon, you stood back in amazement and just thought there was nothing more that could have been said. As a school administrator at East Tennessee School of Preaching, David was courageous and yet compassionate. He had a great passion for spreading the gospel and training gospel preachers who would do the same. And he was passionate about encouraging young men to preach. When I was asked to consider the work at the Tri-City School of Preaching and Christian Development, the first call I made was to David, and he encouraged me to do it. He encouraged me to get involved, and behind it all, he said, we need gospel preachers. In the classroom at East Tennessee School of Preaching, David had an intimate connection with the text, and he was so captivating going through the books like Isaiah and Hebrews and Galatians that we preacher boys were thrilled as he opened up the text. He also taught uh, church history and restoration history, and he was so vivid as he told the different stories that we sort of wondered whether he was actually there. He talked about J.W. McGarvey and Barton W. Stone, and we thought, could he have actually known them? When David was asked for advice on a difficult situation, he would always go to the Scripture and he would often say, all I know about this subject is what the Bible says. In defending the truth, he, sterned, he stood firm for what the Bible teaches, and he would not waver. In support of a brother, he was kind, and he would stick his neck out to help a struggling brother. David was truly a gospel warrior. David had some great one-liners. He said, boys, compliments are like cologne. It's okay to wear a little bit, but don't swallow it because it'll make you sick. When someone would brag on one of us preacher boys for a good sermon, he'd say, you know, the brethren don't know what good preaching is, don't you? <laughs> but one that's especially applicable for us today, David would often say, we all warm ourselves by fires that other people built. And such is the case with us today. This men's day has its roots in the encouragement of Brother David Farr. He started the Carolina Men's Fellowship and he saw the need. And he wanted men to benefit and to grow spiritually from a day like this very day. And he was here at the central building for a preacher's meeting. And he encouraged Tim, encouraged Tim Hall. He said, you brethren need to have a men's day here and we're so grateful for the things that he did in his life and the encouragement there's one more one-liner I want to share with you and he often said this you cannot put the Lord's work on automatic we have a lot of work ahead of us and it's time for each one of us to take up the challenge 
I thank God for men like David Farr. I thank men for God for I thank God for men like you. Let's do our very best to encourage the great preachers, elders, and deacons of the future.